the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expected to be in New York today to receive in person the Ripple of Hope Gong, awarded every year by the RFKHR to people considered exemplary leaders across government, business, advocacy or entertainment who have demonstrated a commitment to social change and work to protect and advance equity, justice, and human rights. When the recipients of the award were first announced, the organization said Meghan and Harry were worthy of the gong for their work on mental health and gender and racial equality among other pressing issues done through their nonprofit Archwell Foundation. Last month, however, the RFKHR's president, and daughter of Robert F. Kennedy, Carrie Kennedy hailed the Sussexes for showing moral courage by taking a stance against the structural racism they saw in the firm despite knowing that by doing so they would be ostracized, they would lose their family, their position within this structure, and that people would blame them for it. The Duke and Duchess made blistering allegations of racism and neglect within the firm in their interview with Oprah Winfrey in early 2021. Meghan and Harry have made no comment regarding this award and have not confirmed their attendance at the gala tonight. Follow this blog for live updates on the royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are among the recipients of the Ripple of Hope Award this year. Image, Getty, trending key events Meghan and Harry expected to attend Ripple of Hope Award Gala 745 two hours ago 10 o'clock Alice Scarcy Meghan and Harry's head of audio quits Archwell after first series of archetypes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have lost yet another senior worker at their company, it is reported. Rebecca Sanains has quit as head of audio at Archwell after just 18 months in the role, according to the Daily Telegraph and U.S. gossip website Page 6. Ms. Sanains was hired, in July 2021, to produce Meghan Markle's Spotify podcast, Archetypes. Read the full story here two hours ago 903 Alice Scarcy Prince William weighs in on Wales rugby sacking and rare personal message to new coach the heir to the throne issued a personal message in the wake of the sacking of Wales head coach Wayne Pivock. Taking to Twitter, Prince William wrote, thank you Wayne for everything you've done for it Welsh Rugby Union. Wishing you well for the future. Writing as the patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, the Prince of Wales also penned a message to the new coach of the rugby team. He said, wishing Warren Gatlin the very best of luck for the run into the Six Nations and Rugby World Cup. To stress this tweet was coming from the heir to the throne, the message was signed off with his name's initial, W. Read the full story here Prince William is patron of the Welsh Rugby Union, Image, Getty, 4 hours ago 7.45 Alice Scarcy Meghan and Harry expected to attend Ripple of Hope Award Gala Meghan and Prince Harry are expected to make an appearance in New York later today to attend the Ripple of Hope Award Gala, where they will receive an award for the work done through the Archwell Foundation on mental health, social change and gender and racial equality among other issues. This award is given by the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Organization. Its president Kerry Kennedy hailed the Sussexes for showing moral courage by taking a stance against the structural racism they saw in the royal family despite knowing that by doing so they would be ostracized, they would lose their family, their position within this structure, and that people would blame them for it. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not confirmed whether they will travel to New York for the event.